It's a new school year in Russia, and fourth graders at this private school outside Moscow are settling in for a lesson on writing in cursive. Instructor Nina Garafyanova offers some examples of old-fashioned Russian Cyrillic script before giving her students their own writing assignment. Unlike some schools in the West, which have begun phasing out handwriting classes, cursive remains an important part of the Russian curriculum. It's a painstaking process, but the students say it's a skill they enjoy knowing. А какая буква тебе больше всего нравится? Мне К. К? Почему? Потому что моя любимая, моя любимая имя Катя. Когда мне нужно что-нибудь сделать, я пишу листочкой на холодильник его вешаю, чтобы потом не забыть это сделать. With computers on the rise worldwide, many of these students already know how to type and use computers at home. Still, Garifyanova says her pupils prefer pens to keyboards. In Afghanistan, handwriting is serious business as well. From a young age, Dari speakers learned the elaborate letters of the Persian alphabet, which is based on Arabic script. In a country where few people have easy access to computers, writing by hand remains an essential skill and sometimes a matter of family pride. Mustafa Sarwar, an RFE correspondent raised in Kabul, learned penmanship from his uncles, both professional calligraphers. Calligraphy is uh, one of the subjects uh, uh, at uh, uh, being taught at schools in Afghanistan. You do it with the reed pen, uh, like this, and uh, black ink. It's very, very much important in Afghanistan, uh, because even uh, there is a saying in Arabic that uh, meaning that uh, if you have a beautiful handwriting, it's like uh, half of knowledge. When you had a beautiful handwriting, uh, you were regarded as a knowledgeable person. But unfortunately, these days, you know, computer has replaced uh, calligraphy and uh, people are no longer interested in to make their uh, shop windows or signs to, to ask a calligrapher to do that for them. Because now they design it using computer uh, skills. In Georgia, meanwhile, it can take children years to master the elaborate alphabet, whose contemporary form has its roots in the 11th century. But in recent years, penmanship has taken a back seat to progress. <laughs> Irina Gaganaya of Georgia's National Center of Manuscripts is trying to help restore the tradition of Georgian calligraphy. This year, the center exhibited writings and handwriting samples from some of the country's best-known politicians and writers, including Ilya Chavchavadze, one of the founding fathers of modern Georgia. The Manuscript Center is also trying to revive interest in the act of handwriting itself. In 2010, it launched a national calligraphy contest, which drew 10,000 applicants. Its winner, 18-year-old Georgi Sisauri, says his handwriting used to be bad. But after hearing about the contest, he invented his own highly personal style of ornamental script. Now he says he's hooked. The calligraphy contest is growing in size each year, but historian Buba Kudava who runs the Manuscript Center, says in the long run, 
the rise of technology may relegate handwriting to being a relic of the past.